My name is Theo Randall, welcome to Shea Randall. This is where I do all my cooking, all my cooking at home, particularly all my pasta. Now I've just written a book which is called Theo Randall Pasta, funny enough, and I just wanted to write a book that was really kind of expressed how simple and easy pasta is to make. I think we do it so badly in this country, we make sort of, you know, pasta that's like overcooked and sort of really silly techniques, but the idea of the book is to you know, show you how simple pasta can be. I mean, there's lots of recipes where the actual sauce takes the same time as the actual pasta cooking. So you can put the pasta on and make the sauce and put them together and you've got a delicious dish within sort of nine, 10 minutes. But the essential thing is it's, it's a fun book and it's not supposed to be serious. It's not supposed to be all these technical elements of cooking. It really is about how enjoyable it is to make pasta. And so I'm gonna make pasta now and it's gonna be uh, an elbow macaroni with some clams and these wonderful artichokes. Now, this time of year, in, um, around springtime, you get these beautiful artichokes which come from Verona. You can use any artichoke you, can, you like, but the idea is find something small. There's various varieties. Uh, there's, um, this, is, this one is called the Violetta. Okay, so we've just got our, our um, artichokes in, a bit of garlic. Just soften the garlic slightly, add the artichokes. And then what we want to do is we want to basically cook them so they're not frying, they're just sort of steaming in their own uh, juice. Okay, so our shake's frying. So a little bit of uh, white wine. And we're just going to put a lid on that and cook it for about four minutes. We want the our shakes to be soft. We want to have a little bit of a bite. We just want to make sure the our shakes are cooked. So um, the pasta we're using is this elbow macaroni, which looks like that, or chiferi. And it's called Schiferi Regatti, which basically means it's got ridges on it. And the point about the ridges is the ridges hold the sauce. You get some of these pastas and they're completely smooth. And they're kind of designed for sort of creamier sauces. But the ones with the ridges, they're going to sort of meat-based or, or uh, anything that sort of needs a bit of kind of sauce to just stick on to the pasta. And this one um, is going to be the flavour of the parsley and the garlic and the white wine and the clam juice is going to stick onto this pasta and slightly emulsify so it'll kind of give it a really lovely flavour of all sorts of seasoning. So let's put that into our boiling water. Now, the thing to remember about pasta is you don't need that many, uh, much equipment. What you need is a really nice big pot of boiling water. And, you know, it's very important you have about, I'd say, about four to five litres of water and also season the water. Put some nice, um, you know, sea salt in there because that will season the pasta when it's cooking if you put add it later it won't absorb into the pasta so you, you end up actually tasting quite salty okay so our pasta is cooking our, our artichokes are cooked they're looking rather nice and so what we're going to do now so basically the time is i've got put the pasta in the pasta is about nine minutes on the packet i'll reduce that by one minute and i'm going to this sounds complicated but really it's not i'm just going to cook the clams so what i'm going to do is i'm going to the pasta is cooking artichokes are there i'm going to cook the clams so those clams like open as let's pop the chili in. So add our, add our parsley. And what we're going to do now is basically add the artichokes when that's reduced by about half, and then add a little bit of olive oil and we'll get a lovely kind of creamy um, sauce without adding any cream. Okay, so now instead of using a big colander and picking that pan up and pouring it into the sink when you lose all that lovely pasta water, just use um, like a slotted spoon like this and take the pasta out when it's it is al dente, it's about a minute off uh, the, the, the cooking time. So I'm just going to take it off now. And I'm going to put that in with the, um, all that lovely white wine and garlic and chili and parsley and the clam juice. And what we're going to do is we're just going to cook that together. So, so our lovely violet artichokes. And then... So remember, we've got, there's not massive garlic in this, just half clove of garlic, it's all you need. You don't have to have loads and loads of garlic. All that garlic from the artichoke will be sufficient. So the best thing to use probably would be a frying pan, but this pasta's got quite a juicy one, so I've sort of kept it in quite a, a, a high-sided pan. But if you had a frying, in a frying pan, you can really toss the pasta. But this is fine. So at this point, now we're just gonna check the seasoning. That's good, a bit of black pepper. A little bit of black pepper. Good dash of olive oil. And then that pasta has now got all that lovely flavour of the, the clam juice in there. 
So the pasta is ready now. So if you just look at that, you've got that lovely sort of creamy kind of emulsified sort of sauce, shiny sauce. Creamy is the wrong word, shiny is the right word. Sort of glistening on top of the pasta. That's exactly what you want. That means that the, the uh, white wine and the, the juice and the vongolet and the olive oil have sort of kind of emulsified together. And you've got this lovely shiny, delicious looking pasta. There we have the elbow macaroni with artichokes, chili, white wine, and parsley. And there's only one thing to do, and that's eat it. Mmm, perfect.